The problem is that, which a lot of people don't know, everybody was born in the flesh. We do not even know what the Bible says. What is born of the flesh is flesh. <laughs> you were born of the flesh. And everything your mother, your father, and everybody was telling you from when you were growing is about the flesh. I was talking to some girls yesterday. And I said, what you do not know, from the moment your mother began to dress you, she began to dress you for man. From young age, they will press, the African people, especially, they will press your bum bum to come out. They'll be pressing you from here so that your bum bum can come out. Why are they pressing the bum bum to come out? I've been with many mothers. It's for men, oh. It's not because of women. It's not even because of you. They'll be wearing you some dresses. They are already dressing you for man. From young age, they'll give you a bag. They'll make you lipstick. From young age, when you do not know the meaning of lipstick, they're already putting you lipstick. They were dressing you for man. When you did not know the meaning of long nail, they were putting you long nail from age five. Putting all the things on your eyes. And say, I said, that is, uh, is dastly. My daughter is dastly. Are you dastly for spirit? <laughs> or for angel? You are dastly for, it's for guys they are raising you up for. Then when they tell me, be man, you have to be a provider. You have to be man. Is they are raising you to be worldly and egoistic. And they say, yo, yo, why, why, that guy was challenging you in the school. You should have beat him up. In this house, they don't beat us. We beat people. <laughs> so beat him. Come on. <laughs> Do that for me. They, they know me in the whole community. They don't beat me. And if they beat you, they, when they now beat you and you come up, your mother now takes you there. Say, what do you say beat you? Say, Go there. They are raising you up to be egoistic. They never say, oh, bless that. The peacemakers, for this I have called the children of God. <laughs> Your parents never told you that. <laughs> Everybody was born in the flesh. And when you get born again, immediately you think the flesh has gone. That's why you have never been born again for three months. You have started teaching your pastor. You know more than your pastor. And I told Reuben, I said, flesh does not take over. Flesh already was raining. It is you who jack yourself back through the spirit little by little. Even as you are seated in this place right now, flesh boku. There are things I can say to you, your face will change. Flesh is plenty. Somebody just start leading praise and worship and you are beckoning to the person as he is leading. He say, okay, change your song. He say, no, no, pastor, don't, don't worry. See, you just started. Nobody can lead you anymore. It's not you, it's the flesh that has been raining before you were born. Pastor, I know what I'm doing. I'm an adult. You just got born again and you don't know. So I was not giving Ruben an example. I say, sometimes people are full adult and then they have accident or problem and they went in a coma. Nine months or three months and they come back. They can't talk. They can't walk anymore. As adult as they are, they have to be taught how to talk by a physiotherapist and how to walk. They now start licking them one by one. So that's what you do not know when you got born again, that you needed to be led one by one. You immediately just got born again say, I, I know myself. I know what God has been telling you. You never allow anybody to talk to you or to train you or to teach you or to lead you. His flesh, it has taken you over before you were born again. He's still walking. And the result of flesh is you see strive. Anywhere you see strive. You see tantrum. You see roller coaster of emotions. You see exchange of words. You see violence. You see war. They are not of the Holy Spirit. They are of the flesh. The wisdom of God is easily entreatable. He's peaceable. James chapter 4. He's peaceable. He's easily entreatable. He, the wisdom of God ignores insult. Because what do you gain? Even after the person has said sorry to you, what is the gain of the sorry? But as the blessing of being a peacemaker, blessed are the peacemakers. For this I be called the children of God. Are you listening? 